what you need to get started. Base plate assembly kit, scraper, xylene, a towel, orbital sander, 80 grit sandpaper, 91% alcohol, lint-free cloth, impact driver, half inch socket, 7 16th socket, 5 32nd Allen wrench, 3 16th Allen wrench. Loosen the weight knobs and remove the machine weights. Remove the four isolator nuts on the top of the machine using a half inch socket. Tilt the machine back and remove the driver pad. Start at one corner and use the scraper to remove the old grip face. Place the plate face down on a xylene soaked towel for 30 minutes to remove excess glue. After soaking in xylene, scrape away any remaining glue from the plate. Using a 5-32nd Allen wrench, remove the eight bearing bolts. Remove the aluminum driver plate. Clean out any loose debris or buildup as needed. Using a 7 16th socket, remove the cap bolt from the motor shaft and the crush washer from the bearing. Remove the bearing from the motor shaft. This may require a two jawed pulley puller. Clean debris or buildup if needed. Remove the motor shaft spacer. Replace the old spacer with the new spacer included in the Eccentric Assembly Replacement Kit. Apply silicone on top and bottom of the spacer. Do not reuse the old motor shaft spacer. Apply a thin layer of anises to the motor shaft. Install the new eccentric assembly onto the motor shaft. Line up the key notches on the motor shaft and the bearing to insert the key. Install the new motor shaft crush washer and cap bolt. Run a bead of silicone on the surface of the bearing cup. Thread the isolator bolts through the bottom of the driver plate. Apply a small amount of Loctite onto the isolator bolt. While holding the isolator, tighten with a 3 16th Allen wrench. While installing the aluminum driver plate, use a small screwdriver to align the plate holes with the bolt holes on the eccentric assembly. Replace and tighten the eight bearing bolts. Set the machine upright onto a driver pad and tighten the isolator nuts.
turn the machine over or lay it back to abrade the plate using an orbital sander with 80 grit sandpaper. Clean the plate with 91% alcohol and a lint-free cloth. Let the plate dry for at least five minutes. Remove the back liner of the new grip face two inches from the long edge and fold it over. Evenly line up the exposed area against the long edge of the plate. Smooth evenly while slowly pulling the liner until completely removed. Press firmly around all areas of the grip face. Replace and tighten down the machine weights. Set the machine upright on the driver pad for 24 hours with the machine weights before using.